and it's not just us humans. Pets are likewise vulnerable to the scorching heat. To give us some tips on how to keep our fur babies cool this dry season, we have with us Philippine Animal Welfare Society Executive Director Anna Cabrera joining us via Zoom. Anna, good afternoon and thank you for talking to us this afternoon. How do we prevent our pets from getting heat exhaustion or heat stroke this dry season? Thank you, Sean. Yes, um, in order to prevent heat stroke, we should always uh, observe our dogs um, if they are uh, out in hot weather. Before we let them walk on the hot pavement, we should actually feel the pavement with our palm and see if we ourselves would have difficulty walking on that pavement um, if we were walking barefooted on the hot pavement. And then we should look out for signs like excessive panting in our dogs. Um, also uh, drooling, excessive drooling. And you will see that your dog is very distressed already um, with the drooling and the excessive panting. And this could be a sign of heat stroke. Once that happens, uh, immediately um, co cold water, um, a cool pad could be put in the inner um, abdomen. Um, this this uh on the uh, under belly of your dog that could be the first aid but please immediately call your vet because there might be a need for intravenous fluids and um and it it depends on how far gone or how uh intensive the heat stroke has really hit your your pet all right, so again, uh, just to wrap up what you said, Anna, so the signs of heat stroke would be excessive panting, excessive drooling, and of course, your tips would be for us to feel the pavement first. If it's indeed hot, uh, I think I, I did have a dog that went into heat stroke because of that. Um, do you have any quick tips on how to, uh, you know, like take care of your pet if you want to take them out of town because of the long holiday coming up next week? Oh yeah, um, often people take along their pets because they are family members, but we forget that they are extremely sensitive to the heat. So if we're going to a province uh, that doesn't have, um, that's really, really hot, we may it may be a good idea to keep our pets indoors. They might not be able to keep up with us in terms of activities. Um, also uh, take into consideration the breed of your pet. There are many dogs that are brachiocephalic, so they have difficulty breathing. They might be snub-nosed pets. There are pets like huskies that are used to cooler weather and must be in air-conditioned rooms at all times. So keep all this in mind when you do travel, uh, because sometimes we get carried away that our pets can withstand the heat um, about you know as much as uh, a human can. Um, but really, they are much more sensitive than us humans. So um, just always, always uh, observe them. And uh, the minute they show any sign of discomfort, then you should be able to take them away from that situation. Um, always err on the side of caution. If uh, you think it is too hot for you, then it'll be uh, too hot for your pet. All right. Any other tips, Anna, apart from these really good ones you've already shared with us? For, uh, for pet owners this dry season, what else do we have to keep in mind? Uh, well, always keep your pet hydrated uh, and uh, make a bowl of water available to them at all times. Because I see some pet owners, we see pet owners, they take away the bowl of water. But for paws uh, and even in our shelter, while food may be taken away at certain hours, fresh water should always be available for pets in an area where they can cool off. Um, at the paw shelter, they even have a um, tub of water. We have a mini swimming pool, Not nothing fancy, but if your pet uh, needs to be able to cool off, uh, you should be able to provide that space for them. Um, having a barometer in the area um, that, uh, that measures the temperature would also be uh, helpful. Um, and also when you go off on long vacations, and this is the time for long vacations, I think uh, this coming week, you need to be able to have a trusted uh, pet sitter 
if you're not taking your pet with you. Um, POS has received a lot of reports of pets being left on their own with just uh, plenty of bowls of food of, or water, but this may not be enough, especially if you're going off for several days. Uh, please make sure there is someone who can periodically check in on your pet, uh, clean up after them, and give them always fresh water. All right, very sound advice. Thank you so much for sharing all of that with us. Pause, Executive Director Anna Cabrera. Thanks, Anna.